Hi, I'm CC Torres with ID8 TV here with Ryan, the creator of Yurman the Depressed Monster. Ryan Brunty, who is this sad looking little creature behind oh, us? Yeah. This is Yerman. Um, he was a self-portrait that I made when my grandfather passed in 2012. And so I lost my job, I lost friends, I lost pretty much everything. And I didn't leave my house for two weeks and like just the lowest point of my life. And so I started doing self-portraits and this one came out as a watercolor and I, right as soon as I looked at it, I was like, that's Yerman. Like it just was very natural. And so I started focusing on it because it got a natural emotional response from people. And I was like, well, that makes me feel good. It feels like I'm connecting to people really. And so I started doing it more and it started making me feel normal and like, less depressed and all that stuff and so I just started focusing on it and now you can find it on Zappos, 6pm, Amazon and then next year we're going to be on Hot Topic and so we donated a portion of proceeds to mental health awareness. Um, I've worked with Project 375, Jed Foundation, um, The Moth and so next year we're also going to be on Hot Topic too and so we're going to give back through them as well. So you're a man. you mentioned yes. he was a product of your, your grandpa passing yes. away. Uh, what, what happened that was he someone that meant a lot to you and you went through a tough time? Yeah, he was uh, He was the matriarch of the family. He was really bringing everyone together. You know, holidays were all about him and he loved giving gifts. And holidays are tough because that's when he got sick. Um, but yeah, so I mean, he lives on through Yerman and I hope to honor his, his memory through my art. Yeah, I was very close to my grandma too, so I can totally uh, relate to that, the losing someone and having to deal with it. So how did... How did you start sketching? Was it were you always an artist, or did it just happen because of that event? Yeah, I've always been like a doodler. You know, I always doodled a lot, like through school and all that stuff. And I would never pay attention in class. I was always doodling. And then um, I actually was a part of an art collective that I started with a friend, where we would do pop art, and so we would put like Pee Wee's body on like Weird Al's head or something like that. Or like <laughs> we did like um, this was a long time ago. So we did like I Love You, I Know, Star Wars prints. But it was all like very like uninspired for me because I was just kind of dialing it in and then when I lost my grandpa then I was like oh my god I have to do something like is more fulfilling and like helps me out like from a really deeper place and so I wasn't aiming to start a brand by any means but everything just really happened naturally and I like I said people just really connect to the character and the eyes especially and so I think it, it you know it helps a lot of people I get people tell me all the time that the characters there for me even when I you know like obviously I'm not there and but the characters are like a beacon of hope for people so it, it helps do you think me it is that. about him specifically that people people relate to you call him depre the depressed monster oh I just call him Yerman his <laughs> name's okay, Yerman yeah <laughs> um, I think for people it's just uh, I think it's just authenticity I think knowing that it came from a dark place and and for me and, and knowing the story probably helps but I mean half the time people don't even know the story they just look at the character and they see a reflection of themselves so I think that helps too I'm not sure that's something I think about a lot though yeah but people are relating to him and you're gonna be in hot topic yeah. next year talk yeah. about that how does that feel uh, it feels pretty good I mean I grew up you know going to hot topic and buying band shirts and I you know grew up with hot topic it's a part of everyone's childhood you know and so to to be able to be in there and have my art in there and my character and have such a close partnership like it means a lot like it, it's it's kind of uh, surreal it's even at this point German have a specific message to get out into the world? Uh, I think his message is, you know, like live healthily and, uh, you know, we're, we're all going through our own battles and we're all going through our own depression and anxiety and so just be kind to people and try to try to just smile through it if you can and, you know, Yerman has a tough time but even he can put that smile up sometimes. Right. Well, it's a very nice smile. It's a very warm, welcoming smile. What else can, uh, do you have available if people, can, you know, relate to Yerman, they want more Yerman? We have uh, apparel, so we have jackets, hoodies, t-shirts, all that stuff on depressedmonsters.com. It's also on zappos.com, Amazon 6pm. Um, I do mural work, so there's a lot of murals throughout Las Vegas you can go see at. Um, I just recently painted a restaurant called Hatsumi in downtown Las Vegas. It's really, really cool. You should go check that place out. Um, if you seek out Yerman, you're going to be able to find them. And so, uh, luck, you know, this year was a lot better than last year and the year before that. And every year is getting better, so I'm just really thankful to be in this position that I can share my art with the world and it means something to people. Just keep working at it. Any message you want to give to someone who's an aspiring artist or just wants to find a way to express themselves? A healthy way. Yeah, I think that's the most important part, just be healthy about it, you know? Like, I'm not here to romanticize depression or romanticize anxiety or anything like that. Like, it's a very real problem that affects us all, just like physical health, you know, mental health is just as important. So as long as you're creating from a, an authentic place and creating from a place that means something to you, it can mean something to other people too. It just takes time and takes believing in yourself. Yeah, that's a great message. Um, anything else that you're in or you would like to add? Uh, yeah, not much. I mean, not here to really sell anything. Just like, I'm just really thankful that people have taken to the brand and that it's growing and everyone seems to love it. I mean, designer con is always a really great time because you get to actually hear people like how much they like it or how much it means to them. I mean, it's all day. It's just been people, oh, I have this or I have that toy or I have this shirt. Or, I have that. And it means so much to me. And, and like that just, that hits me right here just because that means a lot to me. 
Best of luck to you, Ryan. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And for ID8 TV, I'm Cece Torres.